than them five star telly saying two mic rhymes. Be them average MCs of the times. Unlike them, we crap gems so systematically. Daylight had came to town. Um, John Moore introduced me to them, and I gave them a beat. Yeah, it was CDs by then. I gave him a beat CD, and it had probably like, I don't know, probably way too many beats. I might have gave him like 30 beats or something crazy. And uh, Pots ended up hitting me up, and he like seven, eight beats. I was like, oh, word, you know. Some of them were kind of pretty. This was like the hardest one, and I just didn't, I don't even know why I would've put that on there because I wouldn't have thought it's something they would rap on. So the sample is basically this. <laughs> That's pretty much all I took. Um, so I chopped it up in five pieces. So the first sequence I made basically was So this was kind of the sound that brought really the whole shit together. Um, some random ass, I guess this is a drum sound off. Um, I don't even remember where I got it from anyways. Took that sound and kind of just uh, did it on the four count. Kind of gives it that real dirty feel. Um, song comes out, does well. Um, 50 did a freestyle to it. Uh, man, there was a bunch of freestyles to it. 50 actually had the beat before it was De La Soul's record, and they ended up calling me and wanted to use it too, but it was already taken. So, so the thing that probably bugged people out the most is I did another sequence. It was kind of like a breakdown. Um, and uh, I kind of did this because at the time, uh, Jess Blaze and Kanye were doing all the Jay-Z songs and they had this like big buildup at the beginning. It would just be like a, you know, kick just pounding. So I, I wanted to do something like that. So came up with that. So I had this repeating. And then I doubled it with a kick. So what I ended up doing, I don't even know what the hell made me think of this. Um, I decided to slow the tempo up. Every time it come around, I would just do it by hand. So I guess I, I saw people going crazy off this song online. That was kind of early in the online days. But uh, they came to town and they performed it and everybody just went stupid. Like they did it a bunch of times. And you know, to this day, it's the last song they performed. So like to make something like that for them, for you know a group like that, it's one of my favorite groups of all time. It's just amazing. And then to have like the last song in their show is just I wouldn't have never thought you know the song would have turned into that. Mm -hmm. When I tracked it out, it was totally probably different than the one I gave them on the beat tape because there was no way I was gonna do it you know two times in a row the same way.
essentially that was it. And uh, that was like my first big record. So it's been 10 years. Dayla is looking like they're gonna put a new album out, which I have some songs on. So it just seemed kind of right to do this one first for the beat making videos uh, for you guys. In them five star telly saying two mic rhymes Be them average MCs of the times Unlike them, we grab gems So systematically inclined The pen lines about saying the producer's name I'm over the track Yeah, I said it What you need to do is get back to